picture. So let me just give you guys a little insight on why I'm cutting my hair because Poco cannot believe it. She just keeps saying, Tea, why are you doing this? Tea, why are you doing this? So if you guys haven't noticed, I dyed my hair a while back. Um, not that long ago actually, just like December, I dyed my hair. And then it was great, it was really good, the curls were popping. And then, before I braided it, I blow dried it. And then, when it was in my braids, I just stopped taking care of the hair. And now, most of the hair is dead, like the ends are dead. And I just want to have healthy hair, you guys. I just want to have healthy hair. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shime. If you're not, thank you for tuning back in. Hashtag Tea Gang for Life. Anyway, so in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys the highly requested, the long awaited, the Shime, when are you gonna show us your hair video? So, today, 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 I'm gonna show you guys what my hair looks like under this high puff that I did. I'm gonna style my hair for you guys into this high puff. <laughs> this is literally the only hairstyle that I do when my hair is out. So I'm just gonna be giving you guys the rundown, the update of how I've been treating my hair, what products I've been using. Anyway, so if you guys wanna see, just keep watching. All right guys, all right. So obviously I'm starting off this video looking like a hot mess. And that's just because I wanted to show you guys like how I've been treating my hair, what I've been doing, how I style it. Um, so I did my big chop around last year, I think like around March-ish. And the reason I decided to chop it all off was because I dyed my hair blonde and I, I mean in the beginning it was fine, I was taking care of it, you know, treating it every single day, like making sure that it doesn't go dry, but then eventually I got a little tired, I started slacking a little bit, so um, I just put it in braids, but before I put it in braids, because it was a little like tangled, I just blow dried it a little. That was the biggest mistake of my life. And then I put it in braids and while they were in the braids, I didn't take care of my hair like I was supposed to do. So as a result, my hair ended up dying, literally dying. Like I lost all curl pattern. I lost, it like really became, it came like really, really, really thin, like really, really thin, like shimna ahead. Like you know when you eat a mango and then when you're done eating the mango like the little hairs that are left on the seed that's how my hair started to look like and I didn't want that I wanted like really full hair of which I can say my hair has like gained a lot like a lot of volume so yeah this is the result a couple of months later you guys have been asking me for this but the first thing I'm gonna start off with is this follicle healer um, hydrating hydrating oil I've been using this I think you guys have even seen it in one of my videos so with this I just literally after I do that I just give my scalp a little massage just like a massage um, so I'm gonna use this easy ways 
boosted curl moisture gel and with my hair I don't like to let it be dry so I don't allow it to go dry so when I have like braids in I always make sure that my hair is hydrated next I'm gonna be going in with this Cantu define define and shine custard delivers brilliant shine and perfect hold just a little bit of that take it all the way into my hair you guys um i used to like section my hair out make sure that the curls are really popping this is like a quick hairstyle and it's just for when i'm doing the hairstyle that i'm doing now if i if i really wanted to like define my curls define my curls i would do twist outs oh my gosh my hair you guys anyway just don't mind my hair after that i'm gonna go in with this can do leave-in conditioner and I forgot to mention that I don't really comb my hair. <laughs> I don't comb my hair, you guys. I really don't like it. It hurts when I comb my hair. But I always make sure that I don't have tangles, so I like finger comb. Only when I'm doing my partings for my braids, that's when I really like use the kafo. This much of the curl custard, I have the leave-in conditioner. And then I start at the front. Oh gosh, my face. And then I go to the back and then I go in the middle like this like when I'm in the when I'm washing my hair this is how I detangle my hair this is what I do all right so now I'll just try to show you guys a little bit of what my curl pattern is looking like so I'm just gonna take this conditioner as you can see that's my curl pattern it looks like that um if i wanted to i would do this to my whole head if i just wanted to leave it out but i'm kind of chasing the bushy afro vibe today this is the growth and this is the curl pattern yeah so i just want to show you guys that so for the sleek and the edges i'm, I'm gonna be using this iso plus hairline in gel edge holding gel and then i'm gonna be using this a little brush so i'm just gonna be going in with the brush like this not that much and then i'm going to just do that and then i do the same at the back Okay, so I'll take the string and then I tie the knot at the back and then slowly I start to there we go. Cool. Okay. P but as you can see this is the echo I was talking about. Can you please put your finger on the knot? And then I just tie the second knot. All right, so now I'm just gonna cut off this thing. Okay, cool. A little portion of the sides like this. Take it out. Yeah, just like that. Then just dip my finger in there like that. To find this little kakariki here. All right, so for my edges, I'm gonna go in with the same iso plus that I used for the sleek, my sleek. What did I call it? I'm gonna go in with a looks like that yeah that brings us to the end of today's video please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe um, if you haven't subscribed already yeah basically that's the update and if you guys have any questions please leave them down in the comments I will try my hardest to answer all of your comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you like these type of videos. If you like to see more natural hair videos. Thank you for tuning in to today's video you guys. I hope you learned a thing or two. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!